Today we're going to replace the uh, radiator fan assembly on the Dodge Charger. It's uh, It's been rattling for a couple of weeks now and it sounds like it's going to fall apart. Um, so I can tell you one thing about this job on the 5.7 Hemi. It's a little bit tricky to get it out and I'm going to show you that. Uh, it, it will actually snake through the top. It's, uh, it's a little bit tricky and I'll show you that. But here's the radiator fan assembly and I'll show you what's wrong with it. So here's the radiator fan assembly. You can see that. Yeah, I think you can see that moving around and you can also hear that. But uh, yeah, when that fan kicks in, that thing really starts to, to vibrate. Now, one reason I know about removing this fan and how it comes out is because I think it was about six months ago I replaced the radiator, which required removing that. I think it was two months ago that I replaced the water pump, which obviously doesn't require removing that. But uh, yeah, and this vehicle has about 100,000 miles, so some of these things are starting to wear out. Um, so, so the radiator fan assembly, got it from AutoZone. It is a Dorman 621526. Uh, they do make the same part number, uh, 621526XD, uh, which the difference is a, a brushless motor, uh, which they put in the pursuit unit or the uh, police spec vehicle. So on the assembly, it hooks on the bottom here. It just has a, a pocket or a grommet that sits on on the bottom and then two eight millimeter mounting screws. So it's actually, as far as un securing it, it's uh, rather quick, but uh, the trick is when you got to get it out. It, and I'll try to show that to you, but um, when it's sitting like this in the vehicle, you have to, drop it down and kind of turns on its side and then it pulls straight up like that is how I got it out the last time. So I'll try to show that to you. So I gotta get started on this. So first thing I obviously gotta do is I gotta remove my aftermarket intake and uh, two eight millimeter screws. So, probably not going to be able to capture all this on video. You can see I got it unhooked, it's out of its pocket. So now the trick is I got to drop it down and I'm going to start to rotate it uh, 90 degrees here. So I'll pause the video and I'll show you when I get to that point. Okay, so I'm back to the part where I'm trying to turn it. Um, now one thing I remember about last time I did this, uh, I did well, obviously I was replacing the radiator, so I removed that upper radiator hose there. Uh, so that is what is preventing that extra little maneuver uh, to turn it 90 degrees and then pull it straight up. So I'm going to drain off some of the coolant and uh, that way I can remove that hose. Um, just my opinion, I think that's a lot easier than uh, dealing with that whole lower fairing and the, the body clips and trying to jack it up and remove it from the bottom. So I'm just going to Go ahead and drain some coolant and uh, remove that hose so I can finish snaking it out.
Okay, so that actually didn't take too long. It was actually worth uh, removing the upper radiator hose. Uh, so the new assembly's in. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, air intake back on and uh, get this thing bolted up, get the coolant filled up, 